Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about Excel application scope activity. As the name suggests, this activity helps us to perform different operations on an Excel. If you want to perform any Excel operations using UiPath Studio, first of all, we want to know about Excel application scope. Excel application scope is used to open an Excel workbook and provides a scope for Excel activities. When the execution of this activity completes, the specified workbook and the Excel application scopes are closed. To use Excel application scope, Microsoft Excel should be installed on your system. First of all, we need to check it out the Excel Microsoft Excel has been installed in your system or not. How can we go ahead and check it out? Go to Windows and you can see over here just type Excel or you know you can find directly on your Microsoft Office 365 directly if you have it installed. Now you can see in my system I have already installed Excel so that I can go ahead and I can work on Excel application scope. Now we've learned what are the different properties that we have for the Excel application scope. First one display name, auto save, create new file, visible workbook, existing workbook. Along with these important properties, we're also having edit password, password, and also read only. These are the main properties that we have with Excel application scope. Let me switch to UiPath Studio. Now I have created a pro process with Excel project. Now we are in the main.xaml file. Let me go ahead and double click on that. Now we have opened main dot xaml file you can see over here we are having a panel over here now let me go ahead first of all as a first step let me drag and drop sequence onto my panel so i have selected the sequence and drop it over here in the main panel so if you want to give any name to the sequence go ahead and give the display name over here now i'm going to say excel panel i'm just giving or else excel sequence it's a better idea to give the proper naming convention and let me go ahead, let me click on enter. Now we can see the sequence name I have given as Excel sequence. In this session, our main agenda is to work with Excel application. Now, how can we go ahead and get the activity and where we can get this Excel application scope activity? So if you go to activities, you can find app integration. Let me expand that. And over there, you can see Excel. Over here, you can find all the Excel activities which we are going to work in the UI path. Now you can see there's a table processing along with that you are having different, different Excel activities. Now in this session, what we are going to do, we're going to work with Excel application scope. You can find it over here. Let me go ahead, let me explain you once again the uh, you know, root over there. You can see under available, you'll find app integration, under app integration that you can find Excel. Under Excel, you will find Excel application scope. Let me drag and drop this Excel application scope on into my Excel sequence. Now, if you see, once I have drag and drop the Excel sequence, you will find a lot of properties on your right hand side. So if you won't get it, just click on the properties over here. Now, if you see over here, this is how exactly it looks like Excel application scope. The first thing is that Whenever you're going to work with the Excel, the path, the workbook path, you have to enter over here under the given path. You can see over here, workbook path. Okay, I will explain you about this path later on in the same session. First of all, I will go ahead and, no, I will explain you about the properties. Okay, first of all, display property. So this is the display property of the, any activity we are having the same, you know, property display name we have to give meaningful name to this activity. Okay, I will say so over here, MS Project Excel. I will just give the name MS Project Excel over here, and then I'm going to click on enter. Okay, and this is the first property. Coming to the edit pro password, you can see edit password over here. So whenever, sometimes what will happen for the Excel, they will give you password as a security to open it. Right. In the same way to edit the Excel also, they will give the passwords. So if you want to edit the password, 
edit the Excel, which has having the password, then you can go ahead and give the edit password over here. In the same way, you are having a password for the Excel over there, you can give the password to open the Excel. Okay, now coming to the main thing, workbook path. Workbook path is nothing but on which Excel you need to work it out. So that this workbook or the, you know, the path which we have given, it will open the Excel by using Excel application scope and then it will work what are the manipulations or what are the processing, what are activities you are going to do, it will work on the particular path. Now, how can we go ahead and we can uh, select the path? Now you can see over here, I'm having workbook path and there you can find the folder to browse for a file. Let me go ahead, let me select that browse for file. Now you can see it is redirecting to the uh, you know root folder of the project. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm, I have not selected any Excel file over here because of it won't exit any you know, Excel related files over here. So for the time being, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the path over here or else if you have any Excels, please go ahead and you can select that. Okay, let me go to my, I'm having a one Excel file over here, if you see. So in one of the, my, you know, projects that I'm having student details. So that what I'm going to do, I'm going to select that pro Excel file over here. Now you can see, whenever you are going to work with the Excel application scope, you have to select the pro select the path. Now, what will happen if the you know particular Excel file is not there in the particular path. There is an option called create new file. You can see the, you know, over here, I, you can see create new file over here. The, by default, the checkbox has been selected. So what will happen if you're going to do this checkbox? If you don't have an Excel file in the particular path which you have been chosen, it will create a new file over there. How can we say that one? How can we prove that? Let me go ahead. Let me select some more path over here. You can see I don't have any, you know, project over here, correct? Can you see my root folder of the project? I don't have any Excel file. Let me go ahead. This path is totally different, which have been selected. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to edit it. You can see over here, Excel activities is the project which I already have selected. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select Excel project is the, my root folder and I don't have that name with the student details.xls. So let me open one second by just copying that and let me go to the root folder because anyhow that folder, that Excel file is not there, right? Let me go ahead, let me open it. Now you can see you don't find any Excel file in this folder. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to when I'm going to run this bot, it will create a new file over there. Now, let me show you that. So before that, whenever you are going to be giving the path, please give double quotes over here at the starting and the end of the path. Don't forget that. If you're not giving that, it will throw an error. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to execute the bot. Let me go ahead, let me run this. Excel project execution started. Now the bot execution has been successfully completed. Now let me go to the same root folder and you can see the student details .xls file has been created successfully. So this is the use, this is how we are going to use the property create new file. Now we'll see the next property auto save. By default, this one also has been selected. So what it will do, it automatically saves the workbook whenever any change is made it to. If it is disabled, you can't save the changes to the Excel file. This is about the auto save purpose. Now we'll talk about the visible. Can you see? By default, this is also selected. What will happen whenever you are going to execute the board during the execution time, all the operations will be visible. If you are not selecting this, Visible property, it will be by default at the back end side, you know, all the operation will be happen. So it is better to, you know, select this visible by default has been selected. Now we'll talk about the another property workbook. So 
whenever the excel uh, you know excel application scope has been executed the complete data from the excel sheet will be stored in the workbook application variable whenever it is required like you know if i'm going to give any variable name in the workbook application over here so it will store that data type with workbook application data type so that what will happen it will store the entire complete sheet output in the workbook application so what is the use of that so by using this data type we can use this variable or this workbook application in another excel application scope that is where we are going to use workbook variables as an output now you will see the loss property uh, another property not loss property another property existing workbook as i mentioned above in the workbook so we can use this workbook application variable into another excel application scope activity so how can we achieve that by using existing workbook okay now this is the different different properties what we have along with that we are having read only property can you see read only box the checkbox is not selected what does that mean see for and suppose if you don't want to modify any kind of data in the excel which we have so that what i have to do i have to only read the excel file without making any modification so at that time what i'm going to do i don't want any modifications in the excel but i want to read the data from the excel at the time i will select read only box check so that i can't make any kind of edits in these are all the properties what we have in the our excel application scope let me repeat again we are having different properties of the excel one is display name edit password password workbook path auto save create new file read only visible workbook existing workbook i hope you understand how to use the excel scope activity thank you for watching your pos tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day